I'm Derek Essery. And I'm Brittany Walker, and together we sell real estate. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what the market has done in Salinas, California for October of 2024. And when we take a look at this information, we're looking at the real estate market of single family homes, townhouses, and condos. The first item up is going to be your average sales price. We did see an 8% decrease in the month of October. This is compared to the previous three months. So in October, the average sales price was $751,000. And I would attribute this to more lower priced homes selling towards that last part of the year. We see a majority of our luxury listings come on in the spring. So we'll have to keep an eye on what the market does in Q1 of next year. And now when we take a look at the average sale price to list price ratio, this has actually stayed very healthy over the last several months. We are hovering just at about 100.5%. So if you're a seller and you're bringing your home on the market at a realistic price, you can likely expect to get right around your asking price. And if you're a buyer that's looking at a new listing fresh to the market, this is probably going to give you a good idea of what that may sell for. And I think a really interesting point about that sales price to list price ratio statistic is that this is the asking price at the time that the property got into contract. So it doesn't actually take into effect whether or not that property has had price reductions in the past. Now, the number of properties sold was actually down 1% to only 50 homes that had sold in all of Salinas in October. And now when we take a look at the average days on market, so the amount of time from a home goes on the market to when a seller accepts an offer, it was a total of 26 days. And this is actually down about 14%. So things are actually starting to move a bit quicker this past month than they did over the summer, which is very interesting to see. Now, we did have some slightly better news for interest rates for a couple of weeks here. And so maybe that did play a little bit of a factor for that kind of middle to lower end buyer. We did see a 6% drop in number of new listings hitting the market to only 59 new listings that hit the market. So there's fewer inventory, a little bit of a, a decrease in interest rates. So maybe that attributed to these homes selling a little quicker. We hope this information is useful for you and we understand that Salinas is a very large geographic area and di different dips codes can look very different. So if you would like us to customize a report that's specific to maybe the home that you're considering selling or an area that you're considering purchasing in, please reach out to us and we will get you that information.